Hello everybody, this is Johnny. Let's make a game together. For this game, we'll need two sheets of paper. Something to draw with, something to color with, some playing pieces and a dice, and something else. What is it? Oh, we'll need a bear. Let's start by making the game board. This game board will have two sheets of paper side by side like this. Let's go ahead and make them secure. If you have a little tape, this would be good right here. So we'll put a piece of tape here and here, and we'll flip it all over. There's our nice size game board. So we're going to be making a path game, and we want to start over here by making a starting place. Start like this. And then we're going to make a long line going up like this, and then bending like this. And then we want to make another line that goes parallel like this, and bends with it as well. Let's go ahead and continue this line by making a curve under here, and then around like this, down like this, around like this, down like this, and off like this. Then let's work on the other line up here, doing something similar, coming down, and around. Just like that. Now we're going to take this line here and make it go all the way up again. And around like this. And the bottom one as well. Now let's continue this one by giving it a bit of a curve. Around like this. And this one the same. And maybe this one comes all the way around like this. And curves up to this. And this one too. And over here will be the finished part of our game. Let's go ahead and make the spaces. Start here. And you decide how many spaces you want to make. You can make a long game by having many small spaces, or a short game with many big spaces. I'm using medium spaces right now. And there we go. Let's go ahead and write the word start over here. S T A R T. And over here, let's write the word finish. F I N I S and H. We have a start and a finish now. We need some decoration. I think I want to put a tree right here. You can put in as many trees as you want. Maybe another tree over here. Now let's think about what our game should be about. I think our game should be about, let's see, I'll make a drawing right here. Start with this, like this, and then like that, and like that, and this is the important part. Got to have the ears. That's our rabbit. And down here, one of 
we're going to make down here. Oh, that's our turtle. Our rabbit cares about these two numbers. Three, four, five, and six. Cares about six and cares about the number five. Those are the numbers the rabbit cares about. The turtle cares about these numbers. Four, three, two, and one. This game is called Turtle and Rabbit. Let's do some coloring, starting here. I forgot something. Before I keep coloring, let's add that special thing. What we forgot is that there's a rabbit. And what rabbits like are carrots. So you want to draw a couple carrots. Not too many. Let's just put a few carrots in. One there. Let's put one over here as well. another carrot and one more carrot. Let's go ahead and put that carrot right here. They'll be special in this game. They'll make sense when I tell you the rules. Now let's keep coloring. What color should we make these? Let's use this color. That looks good. Now let's play the game. We need pieces. I'm thinking this one would be a good one for the turtle. I'm thinking this one would be a good one for the rabbit. We'll also need a dice. So let's put our playing pieces at the start, and here's how the game will work. The rabbit likes to go fast, so whenever the dice rolls a 5 or a 6, the rabbit gets to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 
always six or five, five or six. Rabbit is always the speedy one. The turtle is the slow one. The turtle will move only when the dice rolls a four, a three, a two, or a one. If the dice is a four, the turtle will go one, two, three, four. If it's a three, the turtle goes one, two, three, or two, one, two, or just one, one move. So the rabbit likes to go fast, the turtle likes to go slow. There's one special rule though. Whenever the rabbit comes across an, a carrot, the rabbit has to stop. So even if the rabbit was here and rolled a six, it could not go six, it would go one, two, stop. And that would be the end of its turn because it has to eat the carrot. So if it was here and it was trying to move past and it was started here and rolled a six, one, two, three, stop. It can't go four, five, six. Rabbits always stop to eat carrots. So your job, what you have to decide when you play the game is do you want to be the speedy rabbit or the slow and steady turtle? Let's play. Well, you can take turns rolling the dice. So the first roll is a six. We look here, the rabbit goes six. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's roll again. We roll the four. Turtle goes four. One, two, three, and four. Next roll, a one. Turtle goes one. Roll again. Another one. Look at this. Turtle's caught up. Slow and steady, right? Rolling again. A six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's as far as rabbit can go. Rabbit will stop there. Two. Two is for turtle. One, two. Another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's because rabbit always moves on sixes. A four. Turtles move on fours. One, two, three, four. Turtle likes carrots but won't stop for them. Rolling again. Another six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. A five. One, two, three, four, and five. Fives are for rabbits. Another five. One, two, three, four, and five. A three. Turtles move on threes. One, two, three. A two. Turtles move on twos. One, two. Another six. One, two. Rabbit has to stop to eat the carrot. A one for turtle. A five. One, two, three, four, and five. A three for turtle. One, two, and three. A one for turtle. A six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Three is for turtle. One, two, and three. Three is for turtle. One, two, and three. Four is for turtle. One, two, three, and four. A two is for turtle. One and two. A two is for turtle. One and two. Turtle doesn't like the carrot, doesn't need to eat the carrot, we'll just move on. A two is for turtle, one and two. What's happening here? A three is for turtle, one, two, and three. Let's roll one more time. A four, a four is for turtle, one, two, three, and four. Keep rolling the dice, moving the turtle and the rabbit. Remember the rabbit cannot go past the carrot without stopping to eat. So if the rabbit rolls a six here, it's one, two, three, and stop, not four, five, and six. The first player to get to the finish is the winner.
For this game, you need two sheets of paper, something to write or draw with, some colors for coloring, playing pieces, a dice, and what else do you need? Oh, you need a bear. Do enjoy this game.